Good morning and welcome to our service of Holy Communion for this, the last Sunday after Trinity. As usual, everything that you need for this service can be found on our Benefice website, including a pew sheet with readings as well as a service booklet. For those of you who weren't in church on Sunday or missed the announcement online, last week it was announced that I would be leaving the parish uh, later in or early in the new year to take up a new role as the rector of the Stour Valley Benefice, which is to the west of the region uh, and is made up of the parishes of Clare, Stoke by Clare, Cavendish, Hundon, Wixhoe and Poslingford. Whilst it's very sad that I will be leaving, it's been a great joy to serve you in these last four and a half years. And I've asked if I can remain in post until after Christmas. So as I prepare to leave you all, please do hold me in your prayers and indeed the people of the Stout Valley Benefice. And be assured of my prayers for you as you discern who will be the next priest to lead you. So before we begin our service this morning, I invite you now to take a short time of silence, to still our hearts and minds, and to remind ourselves that we are, as always, in the presence of a loving Heavenly Father. We begin with an opening hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. We say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord, and you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is this, Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. 
Amen. Lord, have mercy. The Gospel calls us to turn away from sin and be faithful to Christ. As we offer ourselves to him in penitence and faith, we renew our confidence and trust in his mercy. We say together, Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought and word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. <clears throat> in your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. So, Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Together we say the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. collect for the last Sunday after Trinity. Blessed Lord, who caused all Holy Scripture to be written for our learning, help us to hear, to read, mark, learn and inwardly digest them, that through patience and the comfort of your Holy Word, we may embrace and forever hold fast the hope of everlasting life, which you gave us in your Saviour Jesus Christ who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Our New Testament reading is taken from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 2. You yourself know, brothers and sisters, that our coming to you was not in vain, but though we had already suffered and been shamefully maltreated in Philippi, as you know, we had courage in our God to declare to you the gospel of God in spite of the great opposition. For our appeal does not spring from deceit or impure motives or trickery, but just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the message of the gospel, even so we speak not to please mortals, but to please God who tests our hearts. As you know, and as God is our witness, we never came with words of flattery or the pretext for greed, nor did we seek praise for mortals, whether from you or from others, though we might have made demands as apostles of Christ. But we were gentle among you, like a nurse tenderly caring for her own children. So deeply do we care for you, that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment is the law is the greatest? Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. 
and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Now while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them this question. What do you think of the Messiah? Whose son is he? They said to him, the son of David. And he said to them, how is it then that, the da that David by the Spirit calls him Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at the, my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. If David thus calls him Lord, how can he be his son? No one was able to answer, answer him to question, and nor from that day did anyone dare ask him any more questions. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So together we affirm our faith in the words of the Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with his Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. And we believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And so let us pray that the commandments of God shall be obeyed at all times and in all places. Grant to the members of the church unreserved love for God and unselfish love for all people. May the glory of Christ be proclaimed as we seek to fulfil the great law of love. Send a new spirit of love into the disputes between nations and races. Where there is suspicion, bring trust. Where there is anger, bring compassion. Give peace in all places of war and violence. In all we do and say, in our lives with families, friends and neighbours, let us show the love which is demanded from those who claim to love God. May the Lord of all love rule in our hearts. Have mercy on those who are torn by anger and bitterness, who have never known love or have lost the way of loving. Restore their peace and bring them new hope. We pray for the departed, for those who loved deeply in this world and for those who fail, failed in love. May they be received together into the love that is everlasting. We pray through Christ, in whom the law and the prophets are fulfilled. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. That God will speak peace to his people, to those who turn from him in their hearts. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. The Lord is here. 
His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. And you are worthy of our thanks and praise, Lord God of truth. For by the breath of your mouth you have spoken your word, and all things come into being. You fashioned us in your image, and placed us in the garden of your delight. Though we chose the path of rebellion, you would not abandon your own. And again and again you drew us into your covenant of grace. You gave your people the law and taught us by your prophets to look for your reign of justice, mercy and peace. As we watch for signs of your kingdom on earth, may we echo the song of the angels in heaven, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord God, you are the most holy one, enthroned in splendour and light. Yet in the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ, you reveal the power of your love, made perfect in our human weakness. Embracing our humanity, Jesus showed us the way of salvation, loving us to the end. He gave himself to death for us. Dying for his own, he set us free from the bonds of sin, that we may rise and reign with him in glory. On the night that he gave himself for us all, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as oft as you shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the death that he suffered on the cross. We celebrate his resurrection, his bursting from the tomb, and we rejoice that he reigns at your right hand on high, and we long for his coming in glory. As we recall the one perfect sacrifice of our redemption, Father, by your Holy Spirit, let these gifts of your creation be to us his body and his blood. Form us into the likeness of Christ and make us a perfect offering in your sight. Look with favour on your people, and in your mercy hear the cry of our hearts. Bless the earth, heal the sick, let the oppressed go free, and fill your church with the power from on high. Gather your people from the ends of the earth to feast with all the, your saints at the table in your kingdom, where the new creation is brought to perfection in Jesus Christ our Lord by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. And so let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words that our Saviour himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. So draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ which he gave for you and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. We say together, we do not presume to come to this, your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Once again, dear friends, I receive this communion on behalf of all of you who are unable to meet physically with us in church at the moment. We receive this communion and reminded that we are indeed one body. So let us pray. God of all grace, your son Jesus Christ fed the hungry with the bread of his life and the word of his kingdom. Renew your people with your heavenly grace and in all our weakness sustain us by your true and living bread who is alive and reigns with you now and forever. Amen. We say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your son Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. We sing our final hymn. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him.
final blessing. The God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and all those whom you love and care for this day and always. Amen. To stay at home in peace, to love and serve the Lord, in the name of Christ. Amen.